Hi everyone, welcome back to Acres of Clay. Today we are going to be trying out our corn head and chopping some earlidge. Some of you may have questions about what earlidge is. I'm going to see if I can get Kevin to talk about it just a little bit and give a better description of what it is. But we're using the combine head that we had purchased and he built it to fit the John Deere harvester so we can harvest the ears of corn and um, grind the corn at the same time. Last year was our first year to do earlidge and so we used a corn picker and then we had to, after the corn was all picked, we had to grind it with a corn grinder and it was a two-step process and it took quite a quite a long time to actually do. The corn picker went really slow and the grinding went really slow as well. So this year we bought the corn head, we have it on the chopper and we're hoping to eliminate the grinding part. The chopper is going to grind it for us and the corn head is going to harvest just the ears of corn. We'll probably we'll probably get a little bit of the um, stock but not much of the top of it but then you'll get the whole ear the shank the cob and some of the outer leaves and that Done. is earlidge yeah I need to let the head down. okay to the viewers what earlidge is and why we would feed it instead of high moisture corn? Uh, earlidge is, uh, you gotta speak up. Earlidge is the uh, ear, well the kernel with the cob and then you get a little bit of leaves and stuff with it too but it's uh, a lot of guys like to feed cob because it's replace it or it's a good source of fiber that uh, helps the cows grow and but it's not to the point where it's really dry. There's still quite a bit of moisture in the cob and nutrition. Well, yeah, when you do your lunch, it's 40 to 50 percent is what you want it at. And uh, yeah, you're coming to the truck. Um, yeah, so. So this is going to completely replace high moisture corn? Yeah, or dry corn. Dry corn. Because this is your energy basically that you add to the ration. So. Um, yeah. So there it is. That's what earlidge is. It just takes the ears off and leaves most of the stock. Yeah, it behind. takes. Yeah, it takes 
here and you get a little bit of stock, but when it's green like this, I don't hurt nothing. But we'll find out.
is the ear ledge, snap ledge, whatever you want to call it. We're going to do a moisture test on this and see what we're at. Well, this is the start of it. The rest of the corn that we're going to make samplage out of isn't ready yet. So, yeah, it'll be a while. Earledge, snapledge, whatever. You got to push this up yet. field all that we were gonna do so um, what, we're, what the guys have done is they pushed it all up and they're covering it with a piece of plastic and putting tires on it that way it will seal it and it will start to ferment and then they'll feed it but we wanted to know the moisture of the corn so I brought in some from the pile we brought it in the house and of course we have to bring it in the house. Um, anyways, I have a plate of it here. Ah, I'm spilling it. I have a plate of it here. And what I'm gonna do is do a moisture test and I do this in the oven. You can do it in a microwave. I don't have a microwave, so this is how I'll do it. And I'm gonna show you what I do. So what I do is to figure out the moisture of this silage, so it's like, it's called an earledge, is I weigh out let me get my scale. I have a kitchen scale here. And I just keep it on grams. And I have a paper plate on top of it. And then I, I'm just going to weigh out 100 grams. So just take out 100 grams is what we're going to do. Right there. So this is the 100 grams. I'm going to put this like on a cookie sheet. Let me go get it a second. I'm just going to place it on a sheet here. Just evenly spread it all out. Alright, and then you want to turn the oven on to, um, I don't know, 350, 400. Is, I'm probably going to do a 400. And then I'm just going to let this cook down until everything feels really dry. And then I'll bring you back. Okay, we're back. I just took this out of the oven and of course now my kitchen smells like silage has been baking. How many people can say their house smells like baked silage? Not many, I bet. Alright, anyways, I'm going to re-turn my scale back on. So remember we had a hundred, um, a hundred grams of the wet and then we're just going to I don't know how hot this is a little bit warm and we're just gonna pour all of it back on to this paper plate and then we're gonna reweigh it try to get it all on because you know it all adds up all right get it all on here and it looks like it is let me show you probably can't see um, it's about 56. Here. 56. So that means that there is 40, 44, this was 40, 44% moist when we harvested it, which is pretty good. It wasn't super wet, that's for sure. There you have it. Our moisture is about 44, 43%. Thank you for watching our video today. Um, as always, we hope you're having a very blessed day. Um, you can always check us out on Instagram and Facebook. 
you can shoot us an email. I typically don't respond right away to the emails. Depends on how busy I am. And don't forget, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. All right, we will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.